the black box in orbit. Okay, my lord Corosus, what a pleasure it is to see your face again. Long did you serve House Arano, and long were you a friend to me. Your loyalty and wisdom are remembered to this day. Spare me the pleasantries, lapdog. You're here because your mistress needs something. Whoa. He's a little angry. Isn't that right, Lady Arano? Go on, speak for yourself. You don't need a Madeira to speak for you. My Lord Corosis, my forces have just liberated your system from directorate control. At this time yesterday afternoon, I was waging war on your behalf. As your liege, lady, I require your loyalty and the aid of your technologists, and I expect you to provide it. What you require means nothing to me. For the last three years, your uncle has squeezed House Corosis for its labor. His directorate conscripted my house guard, looted my treasury, took my children, all because I kept loyal to House Arano. And where were you while your sworn allies were under attack? While your people were being slaughtered, you were hiding on the damned frontier. I saw your little broadcast from Weldry. By your own admission, you left us to die. Use your head, Corosis. If she'd stayed and fought, she'd be dead by now. I didn't request your opinion, mercenary. Until I do, I advise you to keep your mouth shut. We understand the hardships you have suffered, sir, but from this point forward, you will show me the respect that I am due. Your own son was released from captivity by my hand. I fought and bled to set him free. You saved my Otto, yes. But isn't the man... He isn't the man I remember anymore. The prison administrators on Weldry did something to his mind, and my daughter, Lena, she supported you, you know, even after you abandoned us to our fate. She refused to break faith with you. She sang your praises to all who would listen, until the directorate made an example of her. Lena was barely 20 years old when she died in your name. My, fe my fealty to your cause died with her. And so, if you want my help, you will compensate me for it. You have a job for my technologists, and I have a job for your mercenaries. We'll trade service for service, or you'll leave here with nothing. I'm so sorry, Lord Corosis. I didn't know. As a member of the Founding Council of the Oregon Coalition, you're entitled to my help, and you shall have it. My mercenaries will assist you with whatever you need, and I'll oversee the task personally. You have my word. Go on, then, to Anvelt, this planet's first moon. There's a ship, the New Grange, that needs to be dealt with. My people will send you the details. Now please, go. Leave me to attend to my son. They had more than munitions down there, Commander. There's a warehouse full of bust-up dragons. Yes! I'm not going to tell you that the dragons are good mech, but it's big and can carry a lot of guns. If you bring them on board, I'll get them working. Look in the shop for them. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Going to buy some dragons. Definitely. The contract to destroy the new Grange for Lord Corosis is ready for review in the command center. We should follow up when we think we're ready. Well, not for a little while at least. That's for sure. The spider is hands down the most maneuverable mech. Network order is complete, boss. Work order complete. Top work, if I may say so. Awesome. Whew. Okay, we can get a couple of these. Oh, they're quite expensive though. Uh... Okay, we might be able to get two LRM, long-range LRMs on him, which would be nice. Let's buy one. New equipment available. I'm actually going to buy two. Should we go... I've got two, that should be enough. That'll be enough. Ah, uh, we get a 10% discount here. Let's get rid of some of these. So we will sell... Actually, we'll keep them until we need to start selling them. Okay, um... Now, McBay. Ooh, this is... going to be interesting.
So repair everything. We need some SRM ammo back. Over there. Let's confirm that. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. Okay, for the other Shadow Hawk, we lost two SRM ammo. a small laser. Let's reinsert the small laser. Grab those two SRM ammo. Oh, okay. Um Yeah, that's what I'll do. The left arm isn't as important because it doesn't have anything in it. The center torso is very important. So are the legs. So let's add some more back to the legs. There we go. Okay. Now there is a lot of people out of action at the moment, which isn't great. Um, send that guy to storage. We don't want that there. Where is our second behemoth? Oh, we have to purchase... Oh man, I thought we were purchasing the whole thing. We were only purchasing parts. Oh, so I need one more part. Jesus. New equipment available. That's That's a different matter. <laughs> okay. Now we have another dragon. Okay. Well, Let's get all the equipment off. Max up that armor. And we'll see if we can kit you out for some long range badassery. Hopefully we can. Okay, now. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh, they all have to go in the center. That's... Okay, fine. So we can only hold one LRM-20. Um... And then we're going to need some LRM ammo. So that will fire 20 shots. How much ammo will we need? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So each of these will give us six shots. So we probably need at least two, I'd imagine, for the LRM 20. Now. Can we fit an AC2? Uh, 
maybe if we drop some significant armor Whoa, that's serious significant armor I don't think we can drop that much armor to tell you the truth No, we can't drop that much armor. That's, you know, that's too much. Okay. 3.38 tons left. I can't get a large laser in. Neither a PPC. Maybe the LRM-20 is too big. And there's just not enough room. Yeah, that's definitely annoying. Would have been nice if I could fit an AC2 on with an LRM20. That would have been exceptional. Uh, maybe we go that and then we chuck on some lasers. for the close range and some jump jets ah we got no more jump jets left damn it Uh, well, that's annoying. None of those are worth it. Uh, that's probably not going to work, uh, is it? Mm, I doubt it. There's not enough room. That's the issue, it's the room. Okay, let's try something else. Could I go two AC tens? No. Could I go an AC ten and an AC two? No. Could I go two AC twos? Some AC2 ammo. Yeah, so that's enough there. Thanks, Blue Slant, for hosting. Appreciate it. Uh, and then we attempt to put an. No, an LRM10 won't work. That's too much weight once again. An LRM-5? An LRM-5 could work, but that's... 
That's only 50... <laughs> that's not enough damage. That's only... No, that's horrid. Horrid! I'm better off dropping just the... That's tonnage of 5, whereas that's tonnage of 10. So I should be able to fit some ACs on now. Yeah, maybe an LRM-10 and an AC-5. Yeah, let's do that. LRM-10, AC-5. Chuck on some LRM ammo. Because that's firing 10 times a thing. So that will give me 12 rounds, which is fine. I need some AC-5 ammo. That's got 15 shots, so that's good. Then... I could probably throw some jump jets on as well. Let's chuck that over there and drop that down a bit, like that. One jump jet. <laughs> okay. It's not the greatest amount of firepower, but it is long range, so... Right. Hi, uh, Wellamuna and Blue Slant. How you doing? Ah, uh, no, it's actually night time for me. It is, uh, seven o'clock. Dragon isn't that bad. It's a tier two. I wouldn't say it's a tier one. But it still has 20... Mm, yeah, 20 tonnage left over after you max out the front armor. Or around about that much. Maybe 17 tonnage. So it ends up being... 20 tonnage? Yeah, so it ends up being on the lower side of good mech. Heavy mech. But it's better than other things like... Um, lower, like Shadowhawks, Kentaros. It's better than a medium mech, I would say. So, with what I've got at the moment, it's probably one of the better mechs I have access to. Okay, um, everybody is out, which is an issue. How long do we have? A damn long time. 17 days at least till I can do another mission. Um... Engineering, what upgrades do we have? Probably the power system next. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, Let's but we'll do that. Yeah, I know that a grasshopper is awesome, but I haven't actually even seen a grasshopper yet. So, <laughs> I can't really get a grasshopper if I haven't been able to see one. Uh, I don't want to go there yet. That is going to be crazy. I need to level up a little more. Or try to find some higher level mechs. Um, ambush a convoy. That could be interesting. I haven't done one of them yet. But this is also ambush a convoy. But when you pass time and travel, the... Um, the missions change. So, poor. it is three and a half skulls, so it is difficult, but there might be a really good mech there, I guess. A team of restoration agents has obtained the schedule and manifest of a directorate convoy. This convoy's cargo is extremely valuable technological components. 
We want you to steal them for us. Stage an ambush for the convoy, destroy the, destroy the vehicles, and we'll send in a recovery team to gather the cargo. There's a bonus if you secure the area and eliminate all the convoy guards. If this cargo is valuable enough to pay us to steal it, it's going to be extremely well defended. So they should have decent mechs, I guess. Don't comment on mechs I haven't obtained yet. Two, don't comment on story missions you haven't finished yet. Three, don't do backseat gaming. So no unsolicited advice unless requested. Are you... Oh, you don't do backseat gaming. Is that what you mean? I wasn't asking for backseat gaming. I'm not sure what that comment's supposed to mean, sorry. Oh, those are your three rules. Okay. Yeah, I've just heard that the grasshopper is really good. I haven't actually acquired it myself yet, but as you said, I had heard it was very good. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that, as I said. I feel I should go do some side missions and let my guys come back, let everything settle down a bit. So I'm going to go do this robbery. I think. Hopefully there'll be some mechs there that I can get to improve my squad. Um, let's go for two and half and half. Roger we'll do that. that. Travel and hopefully a number of guys come back. I almost got obliterated in the last story mission. As you can see, I lost one mech, and then my other mechs were severely damaged. <clears throat> because I had mainly short range builds, which meant I had to take a lot of fire in order to get um, eyes on and be able to hit. <laughs> Which wasn't good. Okay. Ongoing expenses are increasing. Uh, no, it wasn't an ammo... Yeah, yeah, the ammo convoy. Yeah, that one. Because it recommended long-range weaponry, but I didn't have that much long-range weaponry, unfortunately. Yeah, the ammo... The ammo one. Where you have to recapture the ammo depot. That was the last story mission I just completed. Nope, I need warriors back. I need mechs back. Oh, pirates ambush the Argo. Uh, Okay, uh, blaring klaxons interrupt an otherwise quiet morning routine as several fast-moving ships appear. Pacing the Argo, Darius broadcasts their hail to the bridge. You're flying through our space, strangers. It's awfully dangerous out here. Just awful, especially for a ragged-looking ship like the Argo, is it? Tell you what, we'll provide you with a safe passage, for a price, of course. While you consider your options, Samaya pipes up. Commander, if you can buy me some time, I could do a rapid fire up of the Leopard. That'll teach him not to mess with us. Let's broadcast for help from the system authorities. Nice. Darius sends an SOS and you set about buying time until help arrives. Just as the pirates begin to lose patience, several interceptors arrive on the scene, bearing the colours of the local authorities. With a growl of displeasure, the enemy captain commands her flagship to turn tail. Another time, Commander. Mark my words. Awesome. Now, we do need those last two guys back, and that Shadow Hawk. We probably want the Dragoon Dragon too, sorry. Okay, uh, more ship upgrades. No, that's too expensive for me at the moment. 
Let's go this one. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. Oh, what did I do? I have no idea what I just did. There we go. Okay, we're back. Ah, oh, welcome back. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Is it Waleyuma? Waleyuma? <laughs> Two days for the dragon to come back. There we go. Now I say we launch this contract. Wally. Okay, I'll go with Wally. That's a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. This ought to be interesting. Uh, what do we go with? I think we take out... This Shadowhawk. And we put in our... Dragon. You're afraid no native English speaker so far. In the past two decades was able to pronounce it cor correctly. Okay, does it have some sort of like slur to it or something? I just kind of pronounce all the letters. <laughs> uh, it is Highlands. Yeah, okay, it does. Yeah, well, I, I, yeah, I have a number of students that I teach that I can't do the slurs to either, or the funny little accents that they have. So, heat is going to sink normally, we're going to have a lot of trees, and elevation changes. <clears throat> okay, um... Hmm. I think we go with what we've got. The two dragons, the Jaeger mech, the shadow hawk. Yeah. Okay, so for you, you are probably going to be moving more than what You're more likely to get in close. So put you over there. Um, I think you on there is the good option. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll see how it goes. Unfortunately, all those heat sinks on the Jaeger mech still aren't quite good enough in desert biomes to shoot my two PPCs constantly. But I'm able to do it in just frozen zones and generally a couple of times in normal zones. So it's all right, I think. Okay, destroy the supply convoy and escape. Destroy the convoy guards. We're doing a robbery. Nice. So there's a bonus if we secure the area and eliminate all the convoy guards. Cool. Command interface initiated. Okay, looks like the intel our employers provided was accurate. We're tracking multiple vehicles in the area. Let's move up and make contact. Once we start shooting the convoy we'll probably make a break for it. Intercept them. Once they're dealt with, head to the evac zone for pickup or clear out the convoy's guards. Your call. Good luck Commander. Okay, go, Commander. so where are they going to? They are... That's the recon and they're going over there. So, I, how are they, oh, okay, they're traveling around that way. I am, they're probably going to go down there and then across there, I'd imagine. So I need to make a break for it over here as 
quickly as I possibly can. Move order received. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Copy that. Race over this way. Okay. Now, I'm going to want to get Behemoth. Um, probably up here-ish would be good for her. So let's run Behemoth over there. You guys just want to get in as quickly as you possibly can. You probably also want to get up top there. And you are just going to run as quickly as you possibly can as well. Too close range, engage. Too longer range, take up positions for good standing still firing shots. <clears throat> That's the idea here. I wonder if yes, they Commander. will move before we engage them. Waiting on you, Commander. That is my only question. Ready for orders. Do we have contact? No, we do not. Position confirmed. You remember this mission, do you, Wally? I'm just not sure if they've moved yet. Because the marker's not moving. But I'm assuming they will have been moving already. Unless they wait until we open fire. Which... Could be something they do. Nope. They have moved back. What the hell? <laughs> it was here a second ago and now it just skipped all the way over here. That is weird. <laughs> uh Okay. On the move. That is not what I was expecting. Uh huh. I must say. Got it. They are moving. Okay. Incoming. No retreat. But they should be moving this way, because that's the exit. Yeah. Receiving you. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to reserve. They are slowly. It's just weird that it was on the hill and then suddenly they were down there. I guess they said to recon here and that's where you'll intercept them. Ready for orders. I guess that was what they were meaning. Moving to position. Okay, I can't actually hit any of them. That... That's scary. Uh-oh. <laughs> that thing needs to die. Uh, okay. Being here was not a good idea. Seriously bad idea, actually. Confirmed.
Okay, you can fire on that, which is nice. So, let's do that. It's time to die! Primary target damage. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. Okay. Can you get eyes on? You can. Good. Nice. We should be able to take that guy out. Hopefully. We don't want PPC hits from that. Oh, we still weren't able to take it out. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's gonna probably be some PPC hits. Oh no. Standing by. We should be good. Yeah, that's ridiculous. An 80 ton vehicle. Yeah, three PPCs. Oh yeah, turn one. Okay. I mean, uh, turn five actually. Initiative phase five. So he'll go last. So... I think I go here. It has armor equivalent to an assault mech. That's just ridiculous. Its front armor wasn't that crazy though. Oh, uh, 90? I guess that's not too bad. Yeah, actually that is quite a lot of armor actually for a vehicle. <laughs> Roger. There's also a defender. Which has a lot of armor as well. Oh. That's the light one. How do you see the tonnage once um once you can see them? I can't actually f see the tonnage. I only see the tonnage when like it says Oh, you're just guessing. Okay. Receiving you. That's understandable then. Waiting for orders. Okay, now you have bulwark. So if we stay still, that's probably the best option. By experience. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's hope we can take out the Shrek PPC carrier. Target. We can. Awesome. <laughs> 